Welcome back friends, Steve here, KM9G. And today we're gonna continue our DMR journey. We've already done the why do you want DMR and the what radio should I get? So the next thing, while the radio is coming through the mail to get to you, you need to go over the DMR ID setup and the Brandmeister ID setup. So let's do that. In order to get your DMR ID, you have to go to this website behind me, radioid.net. So here we are in radioid.net, and I don't know where you guys come from and what you call it, but we call this thing over here in the upper right-hand corner the hamburger menu because it looks like a hamburger. Not a good one, but a hamburger. So click on that, and then over on the other side of the page, you get this register link. So we click on register, and you get your terms and conditions. Here's all the things that you will do. Data privacy, these are all the things that they're going to do with your data and all the things that you can do with your data and the repeater stuff that you need to go over with go over with go over if you're going to be operating a dmr repeater and then all the things that you will not do let's agree to the above terms and conditions because we like to do that and register an account all right you're going to need to put in a call sign i'm going to put in ad3 m o and i need an email address so ad3 m o at ad3mo.radio and when I pass by that it's going to want me to go and check my email and see a thank you message and if that thank you message arriving indicates that I type my email address properly and then we just come back here and keep on moving I'm going to want you to type in a password your password must have all of these things it must or else or else they won't let you buy this part of the form Country territory was picked up by the call sign because you know how call signs work. And then you do, I am not a robot because I am not a robot. Now it wants me to pick everything that is crosswalks because we are trying to improve how AI works for self-driving cars. And now I've picked everything that has a crosswalk in it that I can tell, and I will hit verify. Woohoo! Then I can click create account. After you create the account, since I've already got one, I can't show you the next page, but after you create an account, it's gonna want you to upload a copy of your amateur radio license, which somebody will review to make sure that you are legally allowed to have a DMR ID and uh, take it from there. I've already done that, so I'm gonna go over to the login page and I'm gonna log into my own account and show you what that looks like. So sign in, call sign, in case you don't remember, my call sign is KM9G and my email address is km 9 g at protonmail.com and my password has been saved here <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered it if it wasn't then hit login and then these are all the details about my DMR ID which is all of the stuff in the FCC database and all the stuff that I typed in before and all the stuff that you guys already know so that's that so my amateur license document has already been verified. I've already done the data privacy consent. I've already verified my email. I've already had somebody had some eyeballs on my license. So my license has been verified. And as a result, my account has been approved. And then I've gone ahead and already done the Brandmeister thing. So I am connected to Brandmeister also. We'll get to that in a second. Just hold on. All right, that's that. Is there anything else we can do on this page? Let's take a look. So I can look at the DMR, the NXDN, the repeater, the hotspots, the card view. I can set up two-factor authentication. I'm going to go look at DMR and see what DMR says. You have been issued an international ID which works with the Mark BM networks and the CCS7 network. Please allow several days for the CCS7 database to sync up and display your call sign. So there is my DMR ID, 3170318. And I can look at it a little bit better if I click on it. So that's it. That's all done. Now we go over to Brandmeister and we get started there. All right. Brandmeister. Brandmeister.network. And this will be, along with all the other links, like you've always done every time you've seen a YouTube video that has links in it, will be down below. So Brandmeister Network. Let's go up to the top here. They don't have hamburger menus over here. We've got one over here. What's that do? That hides the menu. Okay, cool. Look over here where it says register, and we shall register. 
then fill out all of this stuff here for your call sign, AD3MO, and your email address. Let's do AD3MO at AD3MO.radio like we did last time. And this will be a personal user account and super secret password and super secret password. And what is the wavelength of the UHF band in centimeters to prove that you are not? Oh, you can go by numbers. How nice. I'm going to click this 440 some odd times. No, because it's asking for the wavelength. They need to click it 70 times. Let's do 70. Do it the hard way. Seventy-one, and then you enter in your DMR ID three one seven zero three one eight, and then you click, I am not a robot. And again, we're going to help self-driving cars. Apparently, the ones with hazy, dirty windshields. That one's got a car in it. That one's got a car in it. That one's got a car in it. All right, and you're ready to register. But I'm already registered, so let's log in. My call sign, KM9G, and my password is already saved. And now I'm logged in, and the site doesn't look a whole heck of a lot different, but there are some things that you can do in here. Uh, one of them is to get your API key, which you will need for later. So let's go about getting the API key out. All right, Brandmeister Static Talk Groups. Here's how you do it. Here's why you want to do it. There are two things. The first one is if you get into a public talk group, like say America Link, and there's a bunch of people on there talking about something that you're not terribly interested in, you need to be able to get rid of it so you can get into another talk group. Because once you're in a talk group, you can't get out of it until they stop talking. Sometimes that happens. The other thing is to create static talk groups in your PyStar setup. And we'll get to that in another video. We'll get to both of those things in another video. But for now, I'm gonna show you how to set up an API key. So, back on the Brandmeister homepage, if you're not logged in, log in. Click on your call sign at the top, and go to profile settings. And this one's a little hidden, because your profile settings where your email address is really big, and your profile settings where your how to change password thing is really big, but this little button over here, hiding off on the side, is where you do your API keys. So we'll click on that. I've already got an API key called first. I'm gonna add a second one and then I'm gonna delete it. So don't try using my API key because it won't be there anymore. Click add, I'm gonna call it second. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna show it up on the screen. It's gonna give you this QR code and it's gonna give you this long string of text. You should take this long string of text and copy it somewhere important because you're gonna need it for the next couple of steps. But for now, just copy it, stick it off in a notepad or a password locker like 1Password um, and save it for later. Click OK, and there it is. There's the first one, there's the second one. I'm removing the second one so nobody can impersonate me. And it's gone. There you go. And now you know how to add an API key and you know how to remove an API key and you know what you can do with an API key and you know that you need to save that text because you'll never get it again. So that's that. Coming up in the series, we have a hotspot that we need to get and we need to get it set up on Wi-Fi and we need to get uh, PyStar configured. So watch for that in an upcoming video. Thanks for being awesome.